want her to notice what I don't notice. So, as few people know, I've got a DRZ, and a few times they've been asked, oh yeah, can I come out for a ride with you? And I actually don't have any PM pads on the back because it's only a one seater. But anyway, I found this product and I thought, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to try it out. So. So the product I actually got is the Axis uh, re-pinion pegs uh, for the DRZ and I think mean, they're quite good. They're a bit pricey and so on but good quality, strong, looks sweet, well machined and they're rated for about 120 kilos so got the full kit and it was pretty amazing. I got, I got these. These were actually sent. They're made in Portugal, and these were sent from Portugal. And I had them here within like four days. So that's pretty damn good service for all the times that we're living in at the moment. Anyway, let's snap them on and we'll have a look, and we'll see what they look like. Eh? So Friday, Arvo beers, and it's time to do a bit of work. So. The pegs themselves have actually got written on them, left, and then also, strangely enough, right. So, let's have a look. We'll um, try to get these installed. So, this left one here actually goes to this point, and then there's a clamp that goes onto here. One thing I can see already, I reckon this is going to probably clash, so we'll have a look at this and we'll see what happens with it. But anyway, we've got a few little tools, got the nuts and bolts. Didn't get instructions with it. Um, no instructions. So anyway, can't be too hard. Let's try it. Let's do it. So one issue I've found already with these left sides, these are supposed to be for the DRZ-E's. Um, but you can see this screw down here, there's actually a mounting bracket here on the subframe and that actually clashes with this piece. So this piece here is supposed to sit in the back, clip up and then you bolt it up. Well, you can't actually do it at all because of the weld. So I'm going to have to modify this to um, fit it. So I'm going to have to sit down and have a think about it. and come up with a game plan to work it out. And what I'm sort of thinking is actually cutting this off, get rid of that piece, and then do a nice drill hole straight into this um, subframe. So it's locked in that way, and then it's also locked in here with this screw, which will stop any movement. Any download though is down here, especially if someone jumping on, standing up, so that's, that's where it's gonna go that way. So that's where all your load is. Um, but it needs to be in and tight. So I'm gonna pull this off, have a look, and you'll see what I mean about the brackets behind it. So now we've got this chain cover off, you can actually see this tab here, which is a massive tab they've put on, it actually gets in the way. So where we actually want to put where we actually want to put this on in here, you can see this is a bit of a bugger, but anyway. So we've got to take that section off there, we'll cut that, get the grinder, we'll cut it, make it nice and smooth, that'll just hold it back as well, put a bit of support. You can tell it does nothing because look how thin it is, it's just, it's a little one. That takes all the load, so that's the most important part, we'll look after that one. Um, yeah, honestly, like once we do this job I think we'll um, be pretty good. 
So anyway, let's go and get the grinder and uh, see how she goes. Well, I just did that up, and that there is solid as. Like, man, that, that's not gonna fall off at all. It's actually better than what I thought. It's not even worth uh, putting that screw in there, but if I wanna get that plastic on, I'm gonna have to. So, especially if I wanna try to get that into there which is not going to happen not going to happen because I like to keep it original to make it look, look still sweet you know so I want to keep it looking nice that's why you keep spares and you probably hear the rain it's bolt which hopefully should fit. Look at that. That's why you don't throw out any of your gear. Perfect. That's how it should have been in the first place, so that socket head on top. Much nicer. Cheers to whoever's watching. Now, this is what I wanted to see mate that's fine I was worried about this and I was gonna cut a hole in the plastic but I don't think I bother let's see if we can get this done up if we can't then um, that's a different story I probably should have got a proper socket for this I do have a proper socket actually but I'm trying to get it in there That'd be a different story. Let's move this up just a little bit. Let's see what happens here. A lot of strain on that. Really should get a hammer and hit that. Cause that's put a lot of strain on that. It just needs a touch, hey, like just a little bit. Or should I heat that up, put a hole in it. That will get it nice and neat. Yeah, let's do a nice little tiny hole there and I think it'd be good.
much heat. That worked out really well. That's a perfect fit, like, so that uh, socket trick sort of worked. Yeah, it can deteriorate your socket, heat, it's no good, but guess what? They're cheap, 17 mils, so. But a perfect, nice little hole. Looks professional, I like it. Get this, tighten this up. And um, let's have a look and see what it's like. A bit more. Nice and tight, lock nut on the back. I like it, it's actually um, solid as. Really good. Okay, time for the other side. Um, where does this actually sit? So you can see how I, I did the hole, maybe, through here, so that looks nice. So it must be around there, you reckon? I reckon that's where it's gonna go, like so. Okay, let's find a key. Oh, look at that. Oh no. They, oh. They weren't going, they've got some nice lock tight on them. That one wasn't as much. Take this one out. The one thing I don't understand is that we've got two different size screws here which is a bit strange for me are they two different sizes no <laughs> this is gonna be funny because pretty sure on the kit they're the same size oh lucky yeah same size well, it looks like we're not going to have as much drama with this side compared to the last one. But you got to make sure these spaces, because there is a space on the other side, the bulk is a different different size. Yeah, that's going to fit perfect. So, that goes like that. That goes like that. That goes in there. Get it into here. on the hole let's see how it goes I have to admit they look pretty cool eh? they I like them I do like that look so same thing again space room behind this side heaps easier heaps easier well that compared to the other side which is like bloody half an hour mind you that's me going slow got me old uh, Great Northern, yep, it's beautiful. Tighten this up. Now, you can go and put some Loctite on these if you're that worried about them. And I might do that in maybe a couple of weeks so I'll just see how they go. I'm not too concerned because I don't stand on them. <laughs> But everyone was asking, oh yeah, can I jump on? Can I have a ride? And dragging their legs, like dragging the legs down here. And I, I've had it happen where someone's hurt themselves. <laughs> and uh, nah, no good. So, mate, it's like a factory one. Look at that. Cool. Cool. I like it. It's not going anywhere. Let's have a look. That 
that's actually really good. I, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Jeez, yeah, a little light. Man, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're perfect. They're awesome, hey. Anyway, best thing, fold them up. All right. I like it. Ugh. So there you go. Nice, quick, pretty easy. The other side was a bit of muck around, like, like I said, like you've got to cut this in. You probably can't see it with a, this camera, but cut a nice little neat hole. Cause I wanted to leave that, that guard there. So, but that looks nice, it looks neat. I like it. I'm very, it's strong too. I'm surprised. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as that. But anyway, that's me. See you next time.